got it. I was kind of reluctant to do that because this is plastic up here. But it had to be done. So hopefully we didn't ruin it. But it doesn't look like I melted it anywhere, so I think we'll be all right. So now I'm going to have to try to bend this back into shape. Took it pretty hard. I think this piece is alright. Eh, I bent that a little bit too. So let me try to clean this up and see if it's still good. So I got this cleaned up. Bent back in the shape. And it sits in there flat. It's got this little box right here that lines up here. Obviously, the gasket goes in first, then this guy. I got straightened out the best I could. It sits flat on a flat surface. Then it goes in and then it just locks down like that. So I think this is going to be okay. As long as this old gasket is still good, we should be in business. took this out of here because this was stuck on there I grabbed it with my pliers and I turned it and I think this thing down here just lifted up and over that tab and that's how I was able to get it out I'm gonna go after this fuel pump now let's get this out of here Give it a once over. filter in here. Pretty ugly. It's too bad you guys can't smell this stuff. It smells real good. That's what the stuff that just came out of the line looks like. It smells even worse. Well, I'm thinking we can try to flush this tank somehow. But let's go over and check out this fuel pump first. So I'm just going to put 12 volts right to the plug and we'll just see if it makes any noise. moves Let me clean this up and we'll see if it'll pick up fuel I don't have any fuel I'm just going to spray what's even left in here through it. Hopefully it'll clean 
whatever's in there out of it. And we'll just have to put it back on there and we'll see if we have fuel pressure at a later date. Out of that too. That didn't really amount to much, but we got some of the old stuff that was in there out. That's about all I can do for it right now. At least I do know it spins. Whether or not it's going to build fuel pressure is yet to be known, but we'll find out later on. I've got just a little bit of fuel in there. But the shutoff works. Try to flush this out a little bit. Coming through pretty clear. I'm just going to run this stuff through a couple times. got just a rag on the end of this and I'm just kind of sloshing it around in there trying to break up any deposits Kind of hard to get an angle where you can see, but you can see the walls are starting to shine. And we got all that nasty stuff sitting in there. I'm try to force some of that out with air. Try to get the last bit out with the vacuum bleeder. Last thing I want to do is just get in there with a paper towel, soak up the last little remaining bit. Let's see if I can do this without losing it down there. I 
think without removing this fuel tank, it looks pretty good. Nothing was leaking over here at the switch. Staying dry. So I might put like a gallon in there and just let it sit. Maybe I'll hook the fuel pump back up and we can revisit that. Okay, so I got the fuel pump hooked up. I got power leads to the plug. I'm just gonna put it to battery power and we'll see if it starts pumping. Just gonna let that run for a minute or two. Things are looking pretty good, fuel system wise. So I'm gonna put my float back in it. I'll throw some fuel in it. I'll make sure it's still reading up here. And if so, I think we're looking pretty good here. So we got the float, gasket, and the retainer. Actually, let me clean this up one more time. I'm pretty sure Honda has a special tool for this job. But I got water pump pliers. tab up. gallon and a half maybe maybe a gallon I don't want to put too much in case it does leak overnight so we'll see if that gives us any kind of reading get some dielectric grease in this connector and we'll plug it back in Three bars. I just added another half gallon. 
the first time I turned it on, I only had the first bar. I wanted to make sure it would go up as I put more in, and it did. So, I like it. Looking good. So it's been a little while now, and we're still dry. I don't have any leaks under here. I'm leaking around the petcock down to the fuel pump. So I think our fuel system is looking pretty good here. As long as the top of this doesn't leak, that first time I go to fill it up, we'll be all right. This feels tight. And I crack the cap. Yeah, there's pressure in there. So it's not leaking past this old gasket, which is good. It wasn't dry rotted or anything, it's just, I don't know how old it is, but still holds. So I think we're okay.